What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. So today, we are going to continue in our effort to get 80% in the festival playlist for the autumn season. So, we're going to start out doing these three PR stunts, and then we'll jump into the online adventure, or the ranked online adventure, um, just to help build that percentage to 80%. And we'll see where we're at from there. I don't necessarily want to do the trial, but I will if I need to. So let's go ahead and jump in. We're going to do the Calton Hill speed trap first, just because we're right here. We're currently in our C8 Corvette. I don't know if we have enough um, speed in this car to try to get. We need 170 miles an hour on the speed trap for the seasonal event. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, well, we're not going to get it if a Ferrari pulls in our way, so. Try that again. Here we go. We didn't get it. Alright, let's start with the other way. There is a lot of traffic right through here. Okay, so we can go on the grass and try to get a little starting run up. I don't know if it's going to help or hurt us. Alright, here we go. Take number two. We may need a faster car. I don't know if this is the ideal car to get this, but... Oh, there we go. Easy enough. 176. And we were still climbing, so... One PR stunt down. Let's see what the other ones are. So we got a speed zone. So we need to get 135. And we did 147 in our Apollo, so... Let's see if we can do this in our Corvette. And if not, we'll jump into our Apollo. So we need 135. That's the seasonal event. Th or three stars on the seasonal event, or whatever you want to call it. So here we go. Hopefully it starts the timer. There we go. So it's working. That's not going to help us out there. So we got 125. 127. All right, let's try it this way. Turn as we around. boot a Gallardo so. and get hit by whatever that thing is. All right, let's try it this way. And if we can't get it this time, we'll switch into our Apollo. That thing's a little uh, crazy when it comes to the speed traps. So but there we go. We got 140 something. We got enough that we needed, so good deal there. Got a speed zone hero, rank 18, so we'll get another wheel spin. We're over 20 credits, 20,000 credits. All right, what's the last one? I think it's a jump. It's a jump that we haven't done yet, so. Whitewater Falls, we need 557 feet. Let's see. Let's pull out our Ferrari and see if we can do it in our uh, Ferrari 599. That's a lot of feet there. All right, we'll tr fast travel there, pull out our Ferrari, see if we can get it. All right, here we go. Ferrari 599XX Evo. So this is nothing but a dirt tra or dirt trail. You have arrived at your destination. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, crushed it. Got three stars on it. Man, just the blunt force of having this fast car. If you haven't gotten this car and you have a backstage pass, you just need to go ahead and just use it on this. Definitely worth it in any kind of scenario. It's just the greatest car to have. So, but there we go. We got all the PR stunts done. Let's see what that does. We did get 50% with that. So we will get a backstage pass there. So that's good. I don't think that we're going to get the... What do we need? What is that, 12%? Oh. I'm pretty sure that doing this online adventure should get us 12%. I'm pretty sure. So. I'll go ahead and get us queued up for that. And we will see you in the online adventure. Or the ranked adventure. 
Well, that was actually rather quick. Usually it takes a little bit of time to load, so. So A-class, cross-country. Not terrible, I guess. So let's go ahead and select our car. I guess we're just going to choose our Jeep. I don't know if that's the best choice. But that's the one we're going to go with, so. Alright, here we go. So we've got quite the, the spread there. So somebody else is in a trail cat. Not too many high ranks here. Not any high ranks at all, really. So should be a pretty balanced field. All right, here we go. I'm starting out in front. So this is a team race, so we need to get... Okay, maybe the Jeep was a bad choice. So we just need to win as a team. Okay, maybe the Jeep wasn't a bad choice. We're just not great on asphalt, maybe? All right, so lapped race. Let me make sure we're aware of that. We're up in the first. You gotta be wary of people booting you around corners because ghosting is not on. If they come in too hot, they'll get ghosted, but if they just bump you, they can push you out of the way. Go up, just because we're around that a little easier. We're up in the first. Our team is losing still, though. I don't know that you have to win this to get the... See, like, right there, he just ghosted through us because he was going around that turn a little faster than we were. But I don't know that you need to win these to get the points for them or the, uh, you know, the challenge done in the seasonal event. But I could be wrong. I'd rather just win than not find out and not have to do it again, but... I guess we'll find out probably after this set of races because it doesn't seem like our team's pulling weight right now. Or I shouldn't say our half of our team isn't pulling weight right now. Just trying to catch Larva Licensed. Larva Lysen. Yeah, it's a weird name. I wonder if it's an Xbox created name but we'll see how this race ends. We're still on lap two, so there's plenty of time for him to mess up. Since there's two jumps, anybody can mess up, really. But he's gaining some pace on us. Doesn't seem like our two people in last place are going to make any progress unless one of their players messes up. No. Oh. One of them passed. That's good. Doesn't really help us, though. I mean, I think if I would get the first, we would be winning, I think. Oh. We got, we're not in last now. So if I get the first, we win. If positions stay the same, so. Oh, what did I hit? Oh, my gosh. Stupid invisible wall. Well, that kind of ruined that, so... Not going to get first this race. Hopefully we can get at least second. See, like I pushed that guy a little bit. Sorry, bud. I'm not trying to push you out of the way. And he just pushed me outside of that, so... That sucks. Well... That's an unfortunate end of the race. I hit an invisible wall coming off that ramp and then just got pushed off that checkpoint, so. It is what it is. Our next race will be a um, free room rush, so we'll be racing to the next point. But our team actually came back on that, so I'm not too, too worried about that. It looks like one of our teammates left, which isn't terrible, I guess. Just means our points are worth more, and we've got a bigger chance of being in first. 
All right. So it should be a free roam rush to the beginning of the next race. So this actually counts as a race, which is pretty cool. It's just you get to the point any way you see possible. So it looks like we're going up to where the train is. Or the... Whatever that is. That big train uh, bridge. I don't remember what it's. Viaduct? Something like that. So it seems like a pretty straight shot. Yards. This way. Turn left. Just cut through here. Route. So we're in the lead right now, but that doesn't really count for much. Let's see if we can block any. Might hit some traffic cars and then just get completely stopped by a fence post. So we're down in the last place. Not looking good for us. So, like, it's hard to tell sometimes. Well, we're not in last place anymore. But it's hard to tell sometimes which is the fastest route. If you want to stay on the track or stay on the road or cut through the grass. Just sometimes one's going to be faster than the other. Like, obviously, right now, I can get on the highway, which is what I'm going to shoot for. Hopefully, we can get these trees pretty cleanly. I don't know if we're going to be any faster on the highway. We barely didn't make it there. So our team's actually winning, just because of the guy in first place, which is good. It's like they're joining the highway now. They probably have a lot better top end than I do. At least the cars. Alright, so we're in the fourth place. We've got a Lancer behind us. I think that's a Lancer. He's probably got a lot better top end. It looks like we might be pulling away from him, actually, so... Looks like our teammate wrecked up here, which is not good. So we're no longer winning. And in the second, though. Gonna be the deciding factor through these fields. Seems like first place may have wrecked there. Looks like we're gonna get second. Hmm, there we go. Well, we got second. Kind of did our part. Got slowed down by some, or by the traffic car and the fence post at the beginning, but it is what it is. Going into the second race here. Hopefully we can pull out a win. If not, just... I don't know if we lose this one. I don't know if it's best of five. So if we lose this one, it's just over or not, so... We will just have to see. So that was an Evo. Okay. An older Evo, but an Evo nonetheless. So hopefully this one's a circuit ra or a sprint race. I'm not a big fan of circuit races, but let's see. All right, it is a sprint race, so still got three team or three of us. Which is fine. Hopefully our teammates can pull a little more weight this race. If not, again, not a big deal. I think it ends after this. At least I hope it does. I hope it's just best of five. So if they win this one, then obviously they've got three races on us. But we'll find out, I guess. Oh, we barely made that checkpoint. Oh, gosh. I'm not a big fan of cross-country races, and our teammate just absolutely murked us into that wall. So that's what you gotta look out for. And online adventure is people that literally just don't know how to stop. But it's okay. 
Alright, I don't even know that I've done this race. You guys are just drifting galore. I'm never a big fan of cross country racing. I, I like dirt racing, but I hate like cross country racing, like jumps and such. Let's see if we can reel this guy in. Oh, we got an awkward jump. So with that, we took first. We don't have it for long just because of how awkward that turn was for us. Oh, hello. There's the other trail cat, and he's trying to bump us. Then you just have people that just drive like that. Like, I understand I bumped him that one time in that race, but he is literally just fighting to make us miss checkpoints. That was a good turn. Okay. We got 8% left. So we're winning this race. We're doing good. We're gonna come in first. There we go. So we got first. Let's see if our team follows up with where they were. But one, we lost one of our teammates already, so... It's just literally just me and one other guy racing against four, which is fine, just because... Every person on the other team at your head, you get 100 points, so... Makes it a little easier on us, I guess. There's a little less of a pack to deal with. But we did win that race, so... We just got to win out the next two, and then we win the series. But we should be jumping into another free roam rush here. <clears throat> so we got a point on the board. That's all that matters. We got a point. Back to the free roam rush. I gotta see where this is going. Really, this is like the only time you get to plan, so straight down towards the festival. Looks like a little past the festival, actually, so. It's probably just gonna be fastest just to follow that main route down. Again, it's just me and one other guy, and he's in the Porsche Cayenne, so. Cut to the left. Okay. Of course that guy makes it over. That's stupid. That's... <sighs> Just my luck, though. He makes it over the stupidness that I got stuck on. Here, I don't know if we're taking the same route that it had. Um, okay, there's the straight line now. To say, like, it doesn't look like what the map looked like. This is what we're looking for here. I think we're taking a much quicker route than that guy to our right. Could be wrong. One of these jumps could really just mess us up. Gosh, I hate cross country just for this reason just so much potential to go wrong off these jumps get a trailer all right we're on the road we're in second place this guy's on first looks like he got slowed down by something so that's good we should be taking over first here in a second we've got our teammate and yeah there we go. So if we stay like this, we've got enough points to win. Cut through here. Avoid some trees. Except that one, apparently. Our poor Jeep is just beat to pieces. Alright, back on the road. So we've got short film Tommy, Tony, 
coming up on our butt. Well, he was coming up faster, it seemed, but it seems like he's lost some of that pace. So he's the other trail cat, I do believe. Got about a mile and a half. I'm gonna slow down through these turns. We're gonna stick on the road. In 400 yards, turn right. Make him have to do something crazy to get in front of us, right? Turn right. All right, we are a mile out. In 400 yards. Turn left. Cut through the trees here. Cut through the field, I guess. Yards. Turn left. Let me make it clean across the, the road. There we go. We should be fine. We got dots coming from that way, but I think we're golden. Yeah, we're we'll fine. And there we go. So as long as our teammate keeps pace where he's at. We should win this one as well, and then the fifth or the final race that will come that's coming up should be the determining factor. So, gotta pull out our try hard panties. Eight seconds. Hopefully, it just he just needs to keep his pace. Um, okay, cool. We did. We won. So, going in the last race, and it's all tied up, so. This has been one of the better ranked adventures. So, whoever wins this race wins wins out. So, again, it's just me and a random guy going two on four right now. Kind of makes it easier on us. So let's just hope that we can pull this out. If not, not a big deal. So windmill cross country is our final event. I hope it's a sprint race, and it is. All right, so we end out in the festival, it looks like. So we're gonna be jumping through the windmill. I'm sure that that's gonna lead to somebody getting pushed into the windmill. That's you know, game ending right there, or race ending. All right, so we are in second place. So we've got the other trail cat right in front of us. All right, let's see what we can do. It's not a good start. So far, all of the other team, most of the other teams, what I should say, are out in front of us. We're gonna go to the right. Alright, doing good. So far, so good at least. in first, our teammates in fourth. Just gotta keep keep where we're at. My heart is pounding out of my chest right now. Not that this race really matters for anything. It's literally just a ranked race. It's not like it's the end of the world if we lose. We just want to win. We just need to win. We have a desire in our heart. Coming up on 70% through. Our teammate seems to be holding fourth place pretty well. That's not a good jump. That is not good. We kept our place. We lost a lot of momentum there though. So we just, okay, I think we're fine. Oh yeah, we're good. 
There we go. First place. It'd be a little toxic toward the end. Hopefully our teammate can stay in fourth and finish out there. Whew. There we go. We pulled it back. We were down 2-0, and we just did a 3-0 three, three run. Whew. There we go. So now we don't have to worry about if we lose if it doesn't count. I'm literally shaking, though. Oh, okay. There we go. I'm sure that those those people on the other team are mad at those bottom two. But it is what it is. Blue team wins. Three to two. Pulling it back. Being down 2-0. There we go. Hit them with a dab. They deserve it. Especially after the the first race when dude in the trail cat bumped us off that checkpoint. So we got two... League 11, I think the lower the better, so not too bad. Got 26,000 experience for that, or 34,000 total, I guess. So I think that ranks us up to so now level four. Believe me, once you start winning racing adventures, it gets hard to stop. Great work out there. Looks like we ranked up at least two times there in our normal level. Almost three, wow. So we'll have a wheel spin. Let's see what we get here. One hundred and sixty grand. Nice. All right. So we just completed the online adventure. So that should get us to eighty percent on the season, which means we have the Aston Martin Vulcan AMR, I believe. We'll have to check that. It sure did. It got us eighty percent on the season and fifty percent on the series i think so there she is the amr and there's the 50 percent on the series bonus so we got another backstage pass i think we have three now because i think i had one so we unlocked two today so pretty nice so we don't even necessarily need to do anything else i wasn't wanting to do the trial i'm not necessarily wanting the m5 or his edition because i already have it so I don't know that we'll do anything more in the festival playlist for Autumn, other than maybe try to do the last two uh, Forzathon daily challenges. But let's go ahead and jump in our new Aston Martin here. Just take a look at it. <laughs> oh, she's a Butte Clark. So I think this is the one. Yeah. I don't remember if the regular Vulcan has that crazy steering wheel, but all right. So I think the wing might be bigger on this one. Maybe. I don't know, but we got what we needed. We did the 80%. We got 80% 80% done on the autumn season. And the nice thing about doing, oh, we got one more thing. Okay. 80% done. Uh, so. It gave it to us for the summer. So I guess that kind of correlates with what I was going to say. So we actually got 94% done on the summer. So whenever you do these two at the end here, they actually count towards every season in that series, apparently. I thought it was just future seasons. So you can see I'm already 21% complete with winter. And obviously it's not winter yet. And 20% done with spring. So definitely do these two. Um, at the very end, the monthly rival and the online adventure. The monthly rival is easy. All you have to do is set a time across the track. So literally you could set a terrible time as long as it's a clean lap and it'll count that. So online adventure takes a little bit more time, obviously, as you saw in this video. Um, it doesn't take a lot of time and there are some shorter online adventures when you don't have to do the um, free roam races or free roam rush. So but that's interesting that it goes back. I didn't think that it would. But we did unlock the Rover SD1 as well since we did that. So it's pretty nice. Um, but that's where we'll go ahead and end off this video. So yeah, SD1. Very cool. Um, before we go, if you want to and you're not part of a club in Forza Horizon 4 yet, definitely go join the Bomb Gaming Forza group. You can find it just by searching it in the club section of the start menu. So 
definitely join that. We want to build a community. Um, you know, I was already racing one of the, the club members in the last episode, so definitely need to see that. And, you know, I just want to expand that club so that, you know, if you want to find people to race and drive around with, that the club's an easy outlet for you to do that. So definitely join it if you aren't in one. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, leave a like down below. Make sure you get subscribed for future Forza Horizon 4 content. And we will see you in the next video.